I'm Melissa Ponzio, and this is WebMD's Ask the Pharmacist. With McCary Weck Marciniak, National Spokesperson for the American Pharmacist Association, Clinical Associate Professor at the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy, and Practicing Pharmacist. She's here to answer the most frequently asked pharmaceutical questions put to us by you, the WebMD community. Our topic today is kids and cold medications, from infants and toddlers to grade schoolers and teens. So let's start with our first question from the parent of a new little one with a cold. What is the dosage of infant ibuprofen for a 16-pound infant? We have a 0.8 milliliter dropper. Wow, this is a hefty question with lots of good information that we can share. So let's get right into it. First is that um, for a cold, we can use medications to treat pain or fever, and ibuprofen is one of those examples. Now, that being said, um, ibuprofen is only approved to be used over the counter for children six months of age and older. So for this infant, um, I'm not sure if he's uh, or she would be above the age of six months, but I'd probably want to look into that first. Now, if you were younger than six months, we'd want to make sure we talk with your pediatrician first to be sure that this is the route they would want you to take. So when we're dosing medications over the counter, it's always important to use the syringes or the dosing devices, the droppers, that come packaged with that over-the-counter medication. So I'm hoping that this 0.8 milliliter syringe is the one that came with that ibuprofen itself. You never want to change those between different products that you're buying. You want to use the one that only came with that important um, package. So that being said, the ibuprofen dose that we typically use for children is anywhere between 5 to 10 milligrams per kilogram. And so we would convert the weight that we know in pounds into kilograms. Now, every box does usually guide our dosing by weight, because for children, we always base their medication doses based on their weight. Um, And so the box itself may give some guides, or we could use that general 5 to 10 milligrams per kilogram of body weight to know how much to dose. So definitely this is an area where I think a a parent would want to talk with a pharmacist or another healthcare provider because it can get very confusing of how much to give and how do I dose that appropriately and to make sure you know how to pull up the right dose with the dosing device that you have. Um, So if they have any questions, I would encourage them to go to their pharmacist to make sure that they can dose the correct amount of ibuprofen for that child. Okay. Well, let's take another question from the parent of an infant. My eight-month-old son is having a lot of trouble sleeping due to a runny nose and congestion. Is there something we can do besides the vaporizer? Well, vaporizer is a great choice to help out with some of those symptoms this child is having. Um, Another option, if you don't have a vaporizer in your home, could be a humidifier. And they're very similar, um, but slightly different. And so both of those are actually excellent choices. Another thing that I might suggest for someone with a runny nose and that cough might be to use some nasal saline. That might help to clear out those nasal passages, so it'll make it a little easier for the child to breathe. And if the congestion is really problematic, you might also be able to use a nasal bulb syringe in order to remove some of that congestion. And the hardest part probably with doing something in the nose is just that it could be a little bit difficult to administer it to a young Mm eight-month-old. But if you can do that, those would be great choices to help treat the nasal congestion. Okay. This next parent asks, my nine-month-old who just got over a stomach virus and has been cutting her first two teeth woke up this morning with a runny nose and a wet cough. Is there anything over the counter that I can give her? We are already using Vicks Vapor Rub and a humidifier. Now, if this child is also breaking some teeth, then certainly um, a pain reliever might be also a good choice because I'm sure she's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Mm. And so I would definitely want to talk with a doctor about doing that. Um, Ibuprofen can be used in children six months of age and older. One more from the parent of an infant with symptoms. My 12-month-old daughter has a cough, and I wanted to give her some children's Tylenol but wasn't sure how much to give her. She weighs 22 pounds. So she's only a year old. Mm -hmm. So most of the product labeling for something like acetaminophen will say to only use in children um, two years of age and older. And then when they're of those age, we we dose our um, medications based on weight. So um, it's good that this um, parent knows how much their child weighs. But we'd also want to make sure that the pediatrician is okay with us using this product for someone who's just only a year old. So that being said, if the pediatrician thought acetaminophen would be a good way to go, we typically dose it about 10 to 15 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So we would convert her pounds 
pounds, the 22 pounds, into appropriate kilograms. And that would tell us the appropriate dose then to use. Now important is that for all of those medications that you get over the counter, to use the dosing devices that come packaged with that product. So in this case, it's likely a dosing syringe. So you'd want to be sure you use the dosing syringe that came with that product. And if your product doesn't have one, just check with your pharmacist because they often have some that are available for you to use. And so it would be great to check with the pharmacist to be sure they know the appropriate dose to give and know how to dose it with that particular syringe that comes with the product. Okay, thank you. Our next few questions come from parents of toddlers. How long should you keep cough medicine once opened? Mm -hmm. Well, expiration dates are always very important to follow. So generally speaking, if the medication is stored as it should be, and most of the time that's in a cool, dry place, you can use it until its expiration date that's printed on the package. So there's no specific time that would have to be from the time you open it, but just the expiration date that's printed on the outside of that package. We have another medication interaction question. Can I give my daughter ibuprofen and acetaminophen at the same time? Her fever doesn't seem to respond to the staggered method. Mm. That staggered method of dosing where we give acetaminophen followed then by ibuprofen and kind of switch back and forth, I think it's a little bit risky for people to use that because it can be very confusing. They may forget which product they left off on or maybe using the wrong amount since they're dosed with different amounts and frequencies. And so I would encourage you to choose one or the other, but not both. This next cold medication question deals with treating pain and treating symptoms. My two-year-old has an earache and a runny nose. She just took Mucinex. Can we also give her Tylenol? Mm -hmm. Tylenol is definitely something that would be safe to use in this child, particularly if they're having an earache. That might be something that would help them to feel a little bit better. Now, Mucinex is probably not a product I would generally recommend for someone so young. We now have a dosage question from the parent of a toddler. How much Benadryl can my 32-pound three-year-old take? So typically Benadryl for someone this age would be in the range of about 6.25 milligrams for this child. And Benadryl is available and probably used for this child in a liquid. That would probably be one of the easiest ways to administer that. And you'd want to be sure that um, you used a dosing device that came with that package. If not, you can always ask your pharmacist. A lot of times they either have for free or may sell at a, a nominal fee a dosing syringe that you could use to be sure that you administer the correct amount for that child. Here's one you probably hear often in the pharmacy. My 17-month-old has a cough and a runny nose that keeps getting worse, and the doctor just says that it's a cold. What can I give him to help with the cough? Mm -hmm. Cough can be particularly problematic with the cold, and when it's associated with the cold, sometimes it even lingers beyond when the cold is done and kind of gone away. So it can be one of those symptoms that hangs around for a good while. Um, for a cough for a young child, I like a humidifier. Um, humidifiers are add a little bit moisture to the room and so kind of makes the passages a little bit more dry, a little bit more moist and sometimes can take care of that cough. So that could be a recommendation that might be helpful for this individual. Now we have a couple of questions from parents of older children. My daughter has signs of a cold or the flu. She is 10 and weighs 88 pounds. Can I give her adult Robitussin nighttime? If so, how much? The bottle dosage recommends four teaspoons for 12 and older. Another good question. So a um, couple of things. Number one might be the symptoms that we're trying to treat for this child. She mentions that it may be the cold or it may be the flu. And I think it's always a good idea to match up the symptoms someone has with the active ingredient that could be used to treat that symptom. And so in this case, I don't have a lot of information about which specific symptoms this child is experiencing. But generally speaking, it would be best to use child age products for children and adult age products for adults. And that way you'll never have a problem with maybe overdosing a child. So in general, it's always good to have on hand child-appropriate products and adult-appropriate products in your household.